YouTube, it's your girl Kim. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing another first and that is a lip gloss swatch from Colourpop Cosmetics. It's their Flying Colors. It's their Liquid Lipstick Vault Collection. Um, I thought it was a really great value. I've heard, you know, some things about their lip glosses, so I decided to give it a try. So I'm going to go off camera and take off this pretty lipstick um, and be right back to film this swatch for you guys stay tuned okay so i'm back um i took that lipstick off i'm lipstick less at the moment yes i made that word up um but i did also take off that plastic off of the colors and i feel as though you can see them a lot better at first i was like oh these colors look like they're gonna come out too light but now i'm really excited so let's just get right into it i'm gonna start with the lightest color first because i figure it's gonna be the easiest to get off um the first color is starburst so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that on my hand and then I'm just going to use my makeup brush, my lipstick brush, makeup brush. It smells really good. It smells really good. It smells like cotton candy. Um, and I am just going to put that on my lip. I'm going to get a mirror. I probably should have gotten a mirror. Hold that thought. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back with a little bit of lipstick on my lip and I got my little mirror so I can see how this looks. I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, I was concerned with how the consistency of the lip gloss was going to be. If anyone knows me, I am a MAC girl all the way. I stick to their products. I love the way it looks and how my skin reacts to it. I must say I'm really impressed. I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks so good. I just, I love it. Hmm. It's a pretty color. I don't know if I would wear it by itself. I'd probably wear it over like another color. But I, I just love, I love the consistency. What do you guys think? Yeah, all right. Let's wipe that off. Got this little rag here. I'm gonna wash this later because I figured it'd be the easiest. Oh, the glitter's still on my lip. Lovely. Huh. As you guys can tell, this is my first go around. I'm gonna get a makeup wipe because this it's not doing it, and I want to make sure I see the colors for what they truly are. So, be right back again. So the glitter is a little hard to get off. So just something to keep in mind. All right, so let's get right to the next color. This is their Round Midnight. More like color I would wear. All right, so it's like a pink nude, if you guys can see. So normally when I'm wearing lipstick or lip gloss, um, I don't dip it and just put it right on my lip because I do usually do like makeup for like friends or family. So I'll swatch it on my hand and I'll use a lipstick brush to put it on. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out what this smells like. It's definitely minty. I feel a tingle on my lips. So again, a very pretty color. If you guys can see but not something I would wear by itself. It's something I would wear over top of a lipstick. So, so far the two lightest shades, um, they're nice. I mean, like, I guess if you're going for like a neutral, natural look and you just want like a gloss with like a little bit of shimmer, that's fine. But if you're going for like, you know, a full glam, then I would probably say you probably want to put this over like another lipstick. But so far, not, not bad. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but I paid $80 for the set, which is a really great price for how many lip glosses you're getting. I believe there's 14 in here. On the hand, this is their Pitter Ponder. Oh, the brush on this is different. So this is a sponge brush. The other two were like a bristle brush. So look at that color. Um, we will see. It's like a Barbie pink. Oh yeah. Kind of feels like it may come out matte. Guess we'll see. I 
kind of, I like it. I'd probably put like this over top of it, the Stardust, to give it a little bit more flair. I kind of feel like this is meant to be like a matte lip, lip gloss. I wonder if it tells you on here. Ultra Satin Lip. Oh, so I didn't realize that they actually tell you what type of gloss it is. So the Stardust is an ultra glossy lip. Um, same as the Round Midnight. And this is an ultra satin. So like I said, you know, initially like it feels like it's meant to be like a matte. I feel like I look crazy. I think with a little bit of lip line or something just to tone it in a little bit better, I think it would be good. Actually, let me grab my liner. So we can check that out. You guys know I love my chocolate brown liner. It makes it feel like it's back in the 80s. Where they would do like a really bright color and a dark liner. Now I'm feeling it. Alright. Let's take this off and go to the next color. So now that I know that there is a name for the gloss as well as what type of a gloss it is, I'm going to be mentioning that. So this is their Skyfall and this is an ultra matte lip as well. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did. I'm going to put that on my hand here. It's a pretty color. Some of these colors actually remind me of matte colors. So we'll see how it turns out. Kind of looks like a Relentlessly Red from MAC. From MAC. Um, now let's go in. Do the same thing here. So it goes on like a thinner gloss, but dries like a lipstick. Mm. Yeah. I could definitely see myself. Oh my gosh, that's so perfect. Using these colors. Now me and my cousin, she lives in Trinidad. Um, we are always like looking for like lip glosses that kind of dry a matte finish. Um, and I could really honestly see her using these colors. I mean, I'll use them as well, but I could definitely see her using it. So it doesn't layer that well. Um, I tried, as you guys can see, to put some more on my hand and go back in and add to it. And it kind of comes out a little chunky. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that but I added more to it after it's dried and there's just like chunky patches. So I'm not feeling that. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely not feeling that. So my recommendation would be like before the lipstick actually dries, just make sure you get all the product on there that you want or maybe apply a lot if you want the color to come out a little bit evenly because so far it's a little blotchy not sure if you guys can tell, but yeah, not feeling that. I feel like, <laughs> you know, when like you're a kid and you drink Kool-Aid and it like stains your lip. Well, yeah, that's how I feel right now. I'm a little scared to go in with the rest of these red shades because I'm wondering if it's going to come off. But here goes nothing. This is their La La Land and this is also an, ul this is an ultra glossy lip. So we're going back to the glosses now. So hopefully I have better luck with this coming right off. Gonna swatch at hand. And then I'm going to take it on my brush. Hmm. Hmm. Trying to figure out what this smells like. I feel like the colors show up, this, these hairs from this wig. I feel like the colors show up a little bit different in person than they do on camera, but I'm definitely feeling their glossy shades. So this is a gloss, ultra glossy lip, but it kind of comes out like a matte, but I love it. In person, I feel like it looks like a vampire red. So get into that. So I did hear this before that their lip glosses kind of stain your lip or their lipstick stain your lip. Um, and I didn't want to just listen to what I heard from other people. I wanted to try it out and see for myself. But it is really hard to get off. So I had to go in and put some powder on my lip just because I felt it looked a little bit crazy because the lip gloss was just so hard to get off. But the next color is 
Kronos and that is an ultra matte lip. Here we go again. As you guys can see on my hand, like I've been trying to clean it off, but I'm not having good luck with it. These colors um, definitely stain. Um, and they're really hard. Like This is my makeup wipe. All you see on it is just like red. But here we go with that color. Wish me luck. And this looks like Lady Danger from MAC. So a lot of similarities with them and MAC in terms of their colors. But MAC lipstick don't like feel like they're gonna take my lip off with it just for me to try to get that color off so so definitely really really pretty colors um but same thing again with this matte lipstick or lip gloss or whatever it is you guys want to call it um whatever you put on just make sure is what you want on because if you try to go back in and layer it or fill in like the missing places with the color the color is going to get a little bit choppy so just be aware of that but Time to take it off. Pray for my lips, cause they almost burn. <laughs> mm. So I got that off. I put a little bit of powder around my mouth cause I was looking a little bit crazy. Um, so this is their Paper Moon and this is an ultra glossy lip. So let's see how that turns out. It's really pretty. A little peachy little color. Hopefully the red that's left on this brush doesn't taint this the sample. So you can really see what it looks like. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love this. I feel like it's the red has kind of tainted it because it came out red, but here it's like orange, if you guys can see. So probably should have started with the glosses and then continue with the matte lipstick. So I'm not sure if you guys are really getting like a true swatch. But I do definitely love this color. My lips feel so smooth probably because I rubbed all the skin off. I'm trying to get these matte colors off of here. But so far not too bad. I'm definitely more of a fan of the glosses um, than I am of the matte colors. I love the way the matte colors turn out. However, um, they're really hard to get off. So... Good if you're going out all night and you don't want your lipstick to go anywhere, but bad if you're like me just doing a video just to swatch just to see how the colors look. So let's, let's take this off, but I do love this gloss. Like, love, love this gloss. My lips ain't got no more skin, in case anybody was wondering. All right. So the next color is Dust to Rust, and this is also an ultra glossy lip. Very pretty. All right. And in case anyone's wondering, I'm using different parts of my hand so I don't contaminate the other. Okay. So I love the glosses, as you guys can see. Um, I don't feel as though I'm able to really get the true color of these swatches because these red ultra matte shades um, stain my lips so bad that I feel as though everything that I put on has a hint of red to it. So I may end up, I don't want to say filming this video over, but it's a little disappointing. Um, you know, I don't, like I said before, a lot of these colors are very similar to the ones that I have from MAC. Um, and I don't have this problem, so not bashing them, but I feel as though you get what you pay for. And they are cost effective, but they don't come off. So again, good for when you're wearing it going out all night, but bad for when you're just doing a swatch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera. I have a makeup remover. Um, from Clinique I'm going to wash my lips off to get this off because I kind of feel as though I'm not getting what these colors really look like because everything has a tone of red to it and I don't like that so I'll be right back okay so I'm back fresh makeup wipe in two um, I think the redness that I see on my lip is just my lip being irritated from me just trying to wipe off all that excess matte color so where did we leave off we already did dust to rust so now this is hypnotease and this is an ultra gloss lip I actually love the way this color looks because it looks gold and gold is one of my favorite colors 
so we will see I would probably put this on over a pink lipstick like please me from Mac because it looks like it would turn out really good oh my gosh yes <laughs> yep this is where it's at for me I'm definitely feeling their ultra gloss lip, lip glosses I like the consistency You guys see that? Looks really good. But I feel as though their glosses would go better over a lipstick. I wouldn't wear them by itself if I'm going out. Again, unless I'm just doing like a neutral or a natural look. Definitely wouldn't wear it by itself. My poor lip. Woo! My lips burn. Literally. Literally. I have a bottle of water here. I'm going to use that to soothe them because... They burn really bad. Probably won't be doing another lip gloss swatch ever again. Definitely not for me. So this color is their Stratus Update. And this is also an ultra glossy lip. I can actually see myself wearing this lip gloss with that blue wig that I uh, colored for you guys on my channel. Because it's like the same color. Or I'd probably wear it over one of these other shades because it's really, really pretty. Always wanted to do blue lipstick. Oh. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, honey. Mm hmm. So there's like two other colors here that are blue, but I'd probably wear this over one of them. I just, I really I have to say I love the consistency of their ultra glosses. I'm almost certain this is gonna be a matte lipstick without even having to look at it. Let's see. Oh, not matte, a satin lip. We'll see. So this is their Make Believe, and this is an ultra satin lip. Pray for my lips. Please pray for them. It's like paint. Not going to leave this on too long. Because my lips burn. Ooh, my lips actually burn. I don't want this to dry. Because if it dries, it's going to be like crazy to get off. Um, I feel I look like a fish. Like a fish. <laughs> like a fish. But yes, I'm not going to wait for this to dry because my lips just can't take it. Alright, so the next color is Dreamaholic. And this is an ultra glossy lip. My fave. It's like a mermaid color. Can you guys see that? So pretty. So pretty, so pretty. I actually really like this color. Looks really good. Yeah, def definitely feeling it. How do I look in blue, guys? Okay, so two more colors. The next one is Morning Glory, and this is an ultra metallic lip. So, okay. So it's a different consistency. It's kind of chunky on the brush. So let's see how that turns out. Hopefully these are not hard to come off. Kind of looks like eyeshadow actually, if you guys can see it on my hand right here. Oh, I love this color. I can see this actually being like a New Year's color. It's very pretty. It burns. Because my lips are raw. I am not going to wait for this to dry because I like my lips and right now they're almost on fire. So hopefully you guys see. That's all you're going to get. Ooh. It burns. So bad. I have a bottle of water here. I'm gonna need that. All right, let's try this again. All right, so we're on to the very last color. Thank the Lord, cause I can't do this anymore. My lips feel like they're on fire. Um, this is their Nimbus, and this is also an ultra metallic lip. So, let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's 
pretty. Not gonna wait for this to dry, so we're gonna throw it on, take it right off. Hmm. Kinda looks like nail polish. Not in a bad way, cause I do like the color. Goes on very smooth. Yep, definitely not too bad. I actually really like it. I would leave it on, but I kind of feel like it's going to be painful to get it off. So I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on this collection. So I'm back. I decided to put some Vaseline on my lips because as you guys saw, finishing up that video was pretty painful. My lips were pretty raw. Um, probably will not be doing another swatch where it has this many shades. Maybe half as many wouldn't be bad. Um, but my final thoughts on this collection is I do think it's a great collection to have if you're, you know, now starting out with makeup and you want like a great range of colors. For me, however, it doesn't really work. Um, for the matte shades, I was a little bit disappointed in the fact that when you put it on, once it started to dry, it dried kind of clumpy. Not sure if you guys were able to see that in the video, but it kind of left like patches on my lip. Um, and when I tried to go in and fix it, it just add more patches. So I didn't really like the way those shades came out. The gloss colors, to me, they're perfect. However, they're really, really faint um, and you don't really see them that much. You would really need to wear it with something else. So for me, this collection doesn't work, but I do still think it's great value, um, for, with the exception of the matte shades, um, with great value to add to a collection. I am gonna see about trying to return it just because it doesn't really work for me. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Please let me know what type of content you guys wanna see from me next, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye for now.